Hey girls and guys, just working on a few lessons for my robotic drives and physics course here. And this is a little, I, I was pretty sure this would work, but until I actually got it working, I couldn't say it would. <laughs> so this is a brushless DC motor. And um, as, just like stepper motors uh, or brushless DC motors, any kind of the brushless kind of motor drives out there it moves in steps and it could be pretty rough and uh, that especially with stepper motors because stepper motors tend to be so powerful and the steps tend to be so sharp that the the jumps and movement just ring throughout the whole mechanism the whole system and uh, you could do what they call half steps where you energize one coil to take a step, then energize the next coil next to it while leaving the first one energized, and the rotor will move halfway. So it's it's still a harsh step, but it only moves halfway, so it gets smoother. Or, in the case of a brushless DC motor, uh, just because they're meant to spin, not move in steps, they're meant to move at specific speeds, um, so the coils are spread out uh, Quite a, quite a bit more, but even these, uh, as you'll see when we experiment with it later on, could be pretty harsh in the jumps, unless you use AC waves. Now this is, a, a brushless DC motor and an AC servo motor are almost identical in construction. So basically you've got a ring of coils and you're energizing the coils one at a time. In this case, uh, so there's three different phases or three different coils on angles to each other. So if you can imagine a tripod under the magnet here, this is a round magnet. And so what I'm doing is I'm actually, I've got a three phase H bridge set up here, being driven by an Arduino, but I'm using pulse width modulation to generate AC sine waves. So I'm generating an AC wave on each of the three coils so that it alternates. This one might be full voltage, while this one is only at, uh, say, a third voltage. And then I swing it so that this one drops to zero volts, while this one at the same time goes to maximum voltage, so it pulls the magnet around. And it's very smooth and slow, uh, very precise. I can stop it anywhere along the portion and keep this one, say, half voltage, and this one half voltage, and it'll meet halfway. And so, anyway, uh, I wasn't positive it would work, but boy, it sure does, and it works nice. It is so smooth. So even though there's really only three steps in this motor, um, I can't see the steps, can you? <laughs> and I put this, uh, because it's got a planetary gear drive on there, I put this uh, big old ugly piece of foam core on here as well, so you could... Uh, see the movement because it's so slow and smooth. Anyway, pretty cool. I, I was pretty sure it could be done, but until I actually did it, I wasn't positive. Uh, AC servo motors are used in robotics all the time because they are so smooth and because the position is basically infinite but it requires some very complex driving circuitry um, and AC servo motors tend to be really expensive. Um, it's just the nature of the beast. Uh, but my, my uh, FANUC robot that I have, for example, uh, this, the servo motors in that were AC servo motors. So this is, this is what they're doing. Uh, the machine that my friends have, uh, it's a big uh, computer controlled wood saw is what it is. It's a panel saw and it'll cut uh, wood panels into smaller pieces computer controlled. Well when it moves that panel around it does that with AC servo motors. So AC servo motors are very common in industry and especially robotics and so we're just playing around here by basically converting a brushless DC motor into an AC servo motor. <laughs> 